Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and in this tutorial we will be building the prices page for Robbie's Outdoor Services website. We'll be doing this in Dreamweaver CS3 using the template we've already built with the banner and navigation buttons. We will be inserting some tables into the editable area of the template and we just have the prices for weekdays and the prices for weekends which is slightly higher. So let's go across to uh, Dreamweaver and get started. Okay, because we have a template we go up the left hand side, File and then New and Page from Template. Robbie's Outdoors is the site, Robbie's Template. We can see the picture there and we click on Create. Alright, now this is the editable region here. Okay, so we're just going to backspace over their writing. And what I've done here is I've just got the text we need um, in a notepad file here to speed things up. So I'm just highlighting that with the mouse and going Control C, and here I will go Control V. Alright, so we need to highlight that text, and then we can go down to the properties. We'll set our font we'll set it to a yellow color we will make it larger um, sorry on the size here we'll make it larger uh, let's try 24 that's probably good and we'll use the centering here to center it alright now let's just check how that's looking against the page now we didn't use yellow actually we used a kind of a fluorescent green alright then so back to Dreamweaver with our colors here um, we're going to use a kind of um, fluorescent green. I'm not sure which one. We'll try that one there and see how that looks. Alright, that looks okay and let's just quickly check back. I think we need to bold that as well so we'll highlight the text here and go down and press the B for bold. Alright, so that's looking good. Let's press return. Not there but at the end of the line press return. Alright, what we need to do now <coughs> is if we have a look we've got a table here which needs inserting so in Adobe Dreamweaver we need to go to the common tab this symbol here is for tables so we'll click on that the table size we need is we're going to need six rows with two columns and we'll just say OK on that and it's brought our table in. Now in this table we've got a range of things we need to paste in. Back in the notepad file I have them so we've got prices so we have to put that in the top um, we've got weekdays that we need to put in so what I'm going to do is I'll just pause the video here and I'm just control C control V pasting all these things in I'll get this table set up and then we'll come back and style it resize it and finish it off alright so we've got all those things typed in Now, what we can do is if we go to the left of this row and get an arrow symbol we can actually click on there and highlight those two cells so we'll try and stylize them at the same time Arial is what we want those sizes look good now the color um, we used a kind of a sort of a green color uh, I'm not sure which one it was it wasn't quite as fluorescent as the other one um, let's try something like that alright and I think we need to perhaps bold those so we'll just uh, get on both of those and bold it as well alright so that's that now these other cells here these other parts of the table we'll just click on them and we'll hold down the control button so we can keep adding to our selection alright that didn't work too good let's try again actually I'm going to try hold down the shift button it's very hard to see here in Dreamweaver if they are all highlighted or not. We'll soon find out. Let's uh, see if we can change their color. And their color needs to be white. And it's only done one of them. Okay, so we might have to do two at a time here. Just changing to white. I'll just pause the video while I do that. Okay, what I've done is I've managed to control and click each of these down the side. Now it's a bit hard to see but they are a slightly pink color so they're highlighted. Now we need to have our default font which will be Area Helvetica and I think we'll make those a little bit smaller maybe so let's take them down to let's say 14 in size and click off that. Okay now we need to also shift um, some of this table. Let's have a look at the finished one. 
Um, yeah, okay, the boundaries between gardening and services. So back to Dreamweaver, if we move that across a little bit uh, like that, that's the table completed. Now, if we click at the end of that table and get the cursor, we can press return to have a space. Now, the nice thing about Dreamweaver is we've made that table. What we can do now is we can um, click on it to highlight the whole thing just by clicking on the edge. And we've got the whole thing highlighted. And we should be able to, I think, right click and copy that. Let's try that again. We'll click onto the whole table again. Right click. Okay, it doesn't want to do it. Let's try control C to copy go down to where our cursor is and control V to paste alright now it didn't leave the space there so we'll just go back up and press space bar and okay that's looking pretty good alright so we can now go and modify this these are the prices for the weekend alright and we'll increase all these dollar signs there I'll just pause the video while we do that and then we'll come back alright then so now we need to save this so file save as and we'll just save it in the main area and this is the prices page so we'll just call it prices and say save alright let's preview that we'll um, go to the map of the world preview it in Firefox and okay let's check in Firefox that was what we were trying to build that's what we've got. It looks like the font is slightly larger in the other one, okay? So if we want to get fussy here, let's go back to Dreamweaver. We need to um, highlight all these rows by control clicking. So I'll just, uh, didn't like that, okay? Control click, control click, control click. Holding the control button down while I do this. Uh, we'll just go to that. Let's make those a little bit bigger, 16. And likewise, do the same thing down here. Control click, control click, control click, all the way down, and we'll make those ones 16 as well. All right, let's um, because we want to make them as big as we can for in case you're using this on an iPhone or something like that. All right, so that give maximum readability. So let's just uh, preview that again in Firefox. Save the changes. Yes across to Firefox if we look at that and compare it with the other one okay they're almost identical alright the color is slightly different um, that one compared to this one but we're pretty happy with that and that will do for our prices page alright remember the last thing to do we will just uh, close that page off and the last thing to do remember is always after you've built a page from the template you need to go into the template and modify so that this prices button now we need to click on that go down to its link and point across to where the prices HTML is and that will create the link that we need alright then we file save our template it'll tell us pages which use the template which needs updating so you just click on update and do that and just say close on that next box alright so we're finished there and we've made the prices table in the next tutorials we will make uh, some other pages for our website and if we check this out now we can go to the home page and we can go to prices alright so that's all working really good Alright, this is Patsy's World of ICT. Be sure to check out our website for other free tutorials and all kinds of interesting computer things.